what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and i got a snippet from an interview with peter prue he is the founder of e-commerce empire builders and what i want you to really think about in this snippet is just the fact that it's not necessarily about how he's built million dollar businesses or anything like that it's something that anybody who's been successful or striving for success seems to have gone through do i need to cut off my friends or my family and if so what does that process look like I'm just gonna play his thoughts. You have to push yourself to do things that you don't want to do, right? Like, there's a re like, like, there's a re you think like a lot of these guys that are like billionaires or millionaires, multimillionaires, like they've done things that they didn't want to do to get to the point that they're at, right? And you have to think about there's stuff that you're probably putting off today. You're like, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, whatever, that you know you need to do, okay? So like, for example, like just us talking about this, like monetizing, like taking a step towards doing something like that or maybe there's like a song or, or something that you wanted to put out but you're scared everyone's gonna make fun of you because you put it out or whatever it is like just do it you know do you know what i mean like there's there are if you're every day you're not like like i am exhausted like i obviously self-employed but like i am men i'm mentally like totally drained by it every day i'm literally physically exhausted at the end of every day and you should feel that way too. Like if you are actually working hard in your business, if you've got like the energy to like, you know, do random things with your friends, sometimes you got to like <clears throat> put that stuff off, put that stuff off so you can work on the things that matter in your life. And that comes, to, you know, I, and I don't know, like you know, for me, I'm not surrounded necessarily by a lot of uh, like successful people. I kind of had to force myself into successful groups of friends online and stuff like that. Yeah. And I can tell you a lot of my friends held me back for a lot of years. I, I'm comfortable saying that now. So I limit contact with a lot of them, right? We'll hang out like maybe once a month or something like that. They're my friends. They're like people I trust. They're not people that are ever going to be like, oh, you have money now. Like I'll take advantage of me. They're like my, they're my like friends for years and years and years, right? But you have to audit yourself sometimes because if you're trying to get somewhere, like, and you're, you are the average of the five people you hang around, whether you believe it or not. Right. If you, all your friends are making like whatever, 10 grand a year or whatever, you're probably making 10 grand a year. Right. But I can tell you, if you start hanging around with some higher level people, like for example, when I was at this conference, we were hanging out with a bunch of people that were like making tens of millions of dollars a year. Like you feel it, you feel different standing in a group of these guys that are just like, they're totally normal, just like you and me, <laughs> yeah. but like you feel that the energy they release to you and show you, Hey, you know what, this guy, there's nothing special about him. He's a normal, he's just a normal guy like me and you. But like, you could tell like the confidence, like the, the certainty that he has in life, right? And when we're hanging around with people and just like drinking or whatever we're doing, like that is not getting you any closer to, to where you want to go. So I'm not saying cut off your friends or your family. You're, don't, don't do that by any means, but start trying to find some people that you can hang around with that are going to stretch you and push your limits. And if that isn't whatever, like, I know a lot of you guys like are probably like, you know, they're doing the songwriting stuff. Like have a group of you guys that you're talking and holding each other accountable on something, right? Like support each other, right? Like collaborate or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like put, bring each other up together, right? Instead of always doing everything alone. Like I, I've done stuff so long in my life alone. And like, until I found like my own group of people that, you know, we're on the same level as me and we all just grow together. You know, we, we, we grow as people, we, our incomes grow, like, you know, our businesses grow. So like start thinking about like, how can I start, how can you start hanging around with people that, that think like me, that have the same goals as me, right? Because if you're, if you want to be able to share them with other people so they hold you accountable instead of just being like, oh, just writing them in your journal, right? Yeah. But your friends and believe it or not, unfortunately, like, <laughs> this is like bad to say, but like a lot of your, your friends and stuff, like they'll support you. But like a lot of them, like once you like find success, like a lot of them will be mad at you because you like when you find success, a lot of people, your family, usually not, at least in my case, wasn't. I know a lot of people that have lost family members due to this kind of stuff. But like when you do find success and you start making money, like a lot of your friends won't like you because they'll see they'll say, oh, it was, you, it was easy for you. It was a lucky you got lucky or, or like whatever. But they don't see like all the hard work that it is. And then you are portraying something that they wish they had done. Right. And this is like, this is a, a very, very important thing to, to grasp. And uh, this is why I don't um, necessarily always recommend you say everything to your friend like that you're doing. Like once you once you start, like, you know, keep it separate, keep your business world 
right? And then like your, 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 your relationship with them separate, you know, don't try and instill your beliefs because you're building a business now and you want like all this support from them. But that's just me. That might just be uh, my, uh, my experience with it. But all right, again, that's a snippet from my interview with Peter Pro. You can find the link to the full interview in the description below. But what are your thoughts? I would love to know what you think because this is subjective, honestly, just like so many things. Everybody has to handle their own friends and family in a different way. And even when you say family, you probably have to handle your sister different than your mom, than your dad, brother, cousins, etc. But it is something that we all have to continue to think about as we continue to strive to become better at whatever our career path is. I'm genuinely interested in what did you do or what are you thinking about doing to go about how you get where you want to go. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.